But dear children, in this video lesson, we are going to look the different poetic devices used in the poem Childhood, written by Marcus Nata. I will read the entire poem, and wherever we can find the poetic devices, I will explain you how does that poetic device applied in the particular part of that poem. That will help you to enjoy this poem very clearly. Let us now read the poem and find out the different poetic devices used in it. Let us go. Good morning children. Now we are going to look into the poem to understand the poetic devices used in it. We know that an image can speak hundred times stronger than words. So these writers, especially poets, they use a lot of poetic devices in their writings to convey their message. This is the way they interact with the readers. In this little poem also, Childhood, Marcus Natan has used a lot of poetic devices. When we read the poem, we can understand each and every poetic device used in it. That will help us to enjoy the poem very much and it also gives us a deep understanding of it. If you don't know the poetic devices in it, we remain as a simple outside reader of this poem. So, it is essential to understand the poetic devices that the poet used in the poem. Now, let us move on to the poem. Let us read the first stanza of the poem. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be eleven? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? So, first we can find the rhyme scheme of the poem. The rhyme scheme. How do we find the rhyme scheme? The rhyme scheme of a poem we can find by the ending sound of each line. Then representing those sounds with the alphabets. Here go O sound we can represent it with a and 11 that is another sound there we can use b and heaven same sound the same repetition n is repeated here so again b and geography this is another sound so we can represent it with a c and b by sound both are e Geography and B. So, again C is the rhyme scheme. And day, that is another sound. So, we can write here D. So, the rhyme scheme of the poem is A, B, B, C, C, D. This is the rhyme scheme of the poem. In the same way, you can find the rhyme scheme of the second stanza or third and fourth stanzas. Okay, now let us move on to the next poetic devices. Look at the repetition of the lines here. When did my childhood go? When did my childhood go? And the last line of each stanza. Was that the day? Was that the day? Was that the day? If Lines are repeated like this in a poem. We called it refrain. We called it the poetic device of a refrain. Is that clear? But look at the another repetition of words here. Somewhere it is used love and preached of love. Love and love. Here we can say that it is repetition. It is repetition. So within a line, words are repeated. Now let us move on to the next poetic device used in the poem. Let me erase this. Okay. 
Now let us move on to the next. Here, look, hell and heaven. Both are opposite words. Hell and heaven. If opposite words are used like this, we call that as antithesis. Antithesis is the poetic device used here. Hell and heaven. Again, we can see that it is the repetition of the H sound, that is a consonant. If a consonant sound is repeated in a line, we call it alliteration. We call it alliteration. So, you can find more alliteration in the poem like the time. The T sound is repeated. Somewhere else also you can find the poetic device of alliteration there. Next line. To use whichever way I choose. Here the poetic device of inversion. The poetic device of inversion is used. So, subject verb order is reversed here subject and verb order is reversed so we called the inversion the poetic technique of inversion so these are the poetic devices generally used in the poem childhood understood